Edmonton Calder, followed by Edmonton or Lacombe Pinoca. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, the Child and Youth Advocate released another heartbreaking report into the death of a young man in provincial care. Last week, the advocate said that the government's responses to his recommendations show, and I quote, that there's actually been minimal action taken on most of the advocate's recommendations. Mr. Speaker, this is absolutely unacceptable. Can this Minister of Human Resources explain why her department is failing to take action on recommendations meant to protect Alberta's most vulnerable children? The Honourable Minister of Human Services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And again, um, as I said previously, a death of any child is a tragedy, especially a child in care. My thoughts again go out to the family, the caregivers, the loved ones and friends who tried to help this troubled young man. We know that working with uh, the Aboriginal community, we're doing many, many uh, things, including developing cultural plans, working with the elders, the community and family connections, and as well, the Science of Safety program, which we have begun to implement that has shown great success. And finally, the mental health supports that we are providing, including supports to the caregivers as well. First, up, second, first supplemental, sorry. Well, again, today we see the results of this government's neglect. And given that this report shows clearly that despite this young man being an obvious suicide risk, that there was no plan put in place to prevent his death. And given that the advocate identified that this government has repeatedly failed to take action on this office's recommendations that could have prevented this death, will the minister commit to responding to the advocate's recommendation in regards to suicide prevention within 60 days? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And again, uh, working with the Child and Youth Advocate with, with uh, this unfortunate uh, passing, um, we know that uh, the supports that we have in place that we did to help um, this young man were, were um, uh, some of the mental health supports that we needed to put in place were there. But at the end of the day, it was all of the staff that was there doing the best they could, and the recommendations that have come forward are something that we'll be looking at. El Supplemental, Honourable Member. Well, Mr. Speaker, given that today's report and last week's report and last year's report shows that the harm is done to children in care when they are bounced around from place to place, and given that the advocate once again is recommending that this government take action on transitions, will this minister commit to implementing the advocate's recommendations within 60 days? Mr. Speaker, and the recommendations that have come forward with respect to a cultural plan, uh, the suicide risk intervention, and the information sharing are something we're looking at. Uh, being, uh, in, the, in the ministry, information sharing is something that is great, is of, of deep concern to me, especially when uh, individuals go into different, between provinces, those things. So I will be looking at that very carefully. I look forward to having the conversation with the child and youth advocate and the good work he is doing.